I guess I just don't think it's proper cruise etiquette, but that's just my personal opinion. Hey, welcome back. It is great to see you. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the videos, give me that thumbs up and definitely subscribe. We've got some awesome adventures ahead of us and we're getting back into cruising. I'm Erica and I'm coming to you from Crushed. In last week's video, I just laid it out there. I said I wanted to go on a cruise four or five days with Royal Caribbean, either drive to the port or take a flight. Either way, I wanted all of my expenses to be under $2,000. In this week's video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper and we're going to look at the excursions that are offered at the ports that I'm going to be hitting up on this cruise. And then also looking at the amenities on board. You know, do I have enough money to book a spa? You know, what dining packages I might look at? And also uh, what's the entertainment going to be. And then in next week's video, we're going to look heavily at the COVID restrictions and requirements and regulations for me cruising, regardless of me being fully vaccinated. We're going to complete that online check-in, print out those cruise documents, and then we're going to look at packing. So you know I'm going on a four-day cruise on Freedom of the Seas out of Miami. We're hitting up two separate cruise ports. After leaving Miami that next day, we're going to be cruising and then hitting up Nassau. And then after that, Royal Cruise private island of Coco Cay and then the next morning coming back to the port of Miami and then disembarking on that first day of course I want to make sure that I go around the ship and I get a really good tour so that I can share that with you but what do I want to do on a day where we are just cruising I don't typically go out to the pole deck and lay a towel down and leave it there for the day that's just not how Erica rolls I, I don't like doing that plus it's not proper cruise etiquette to do that now if you're actively at the pool and you're actively actively laying out, that's different. You know, ask yourself, what things do you like to do? Do I want to get up early, look at the sunrise, get breakfast, and I'm, I'm identifying it and laying out the things that I am absolutely going to do. But why don't you share with me the things that you like to do on cruise days? After eating breakfast, I like to go around the ship and just kind of look at all the amenities, especially if I didn't have the chance to do that the day before, whenever we're leaving port and we do that sail away. It is still over the top exciting every time. I think for this cruise and I think I can add it to the budget and still stay under. I want to go ahead and book a spa treatment. And I'm pausing because I'm trying to think of what COVID restrictions there might be. You saw me processing and analyzing, am I going to be putting myself into a poor situation? But because Royal Caribbean has really taken an awesome approach of making sure that all of the crew members are vaccinated, I think I'm going to be in good hands also being fully vaccinated. And I did find something that I really like that is under $100. It's just going to be like one of those detox wraps. I really just want to cleanse the last two two years out of my body and, and just get rid of all of the evil. In addition to booking the spa, we're also looking at booking the Wi-Fi and I'm getting the water package. I'm having that delivered to the room on the first day of the cruise. Of course, I really enjoy checking out those Broadway shows. And then if you're on the bigger Oasis class ships, you know, going to the back to the Aqua Theater and checking out those shows. I like planning that stuff before we get onto the cruise ship, but in this situation, I'm not going to be able to because as of right now, every time I get into the site, it's not offered. When I get onto the cruise ship and after I look at the cruise compass, I'll be able to share with you what they're doing for entertainment. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Royal Caribbean supports Save the Waves and there are a lot of initiatives to make sure that we're keeping our oceans clean. If you ever have the opportunity to do a behind the scenes on Royal Caribbean or any other cruise ship, I highly recommend it. Royal Caribbean does a fantastic job of explaining, you know, what they do with the extra food that they don't use and also what they do with the glass bottles as well as water purification. It's very informative and then typically at the end of your tour, you have this awesome brunch, unlimited mimosas and some dishes that are chosen by the chef. And then I also want to look at dining. So I'm only going to be 
on the ship for four days. And as you can see, Royal Caribbean offers ultimate dining. They offer different options where you can buy one dinner package and then you get the next one of equal value for free. If you're spending $35 or $40 on chops, you can go to the Italian restaurant for no extra charge, which is pretty cool. So this cruise is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to book any specialty dining. One, I want to stay under budget. And two, my lifestyle has changed to plant-based. I can't justify spending $35 on a specialty dining dish for this cruise, maybe for the next cruise. But for this one, when there are plenty of options in um, the main dining, as well as the wind jammer. We're really going to dive deep into looking at what plant-based options are in the main dining room as well as the wind jammer. And I've never done this solo, so this is this is a first for me. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into planning those excursions. One of the excursions that I've gone on before with some friends was to Pearl Island in Nassau. And this was post hurricane 2015. I absolutely enjoyed it. I thought that they did a fantastic job with what they had. This company had just started prior to the hurricane. It's been six years. So I really wanna go back and I wanna see what it's like now. And based on the reviews, it looks like they've up their game a little bit. They've added some cabanas and I'm going to end up taking my snorkel gear with me. I just want you to know that. Taking my own snorkel gear with me, one, I'm alleviating anyone else using the equipment and let's just add that extra measure, especially if I can get everything onto a carry-on. So I went bare minimum with this excursion. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. If you leave your batteries after you've charged them and you don't use them, they obviously and apparently lose charge. So that's what happened. And Let's go ahead and finish what we were talking about. We were going over the excursions. I've gone through the site multiple times and I'm not finding anything that's restricting me from just doing the excursions through Royal Caribbean, but I am gonna go ahead and just book my excursion through them. Just to play it safe, I know that some people like to get off the cruise ship and just wander around the port or kind of go off on your own. Totally up to you. If you find something that I'm missing, definitely put that down in the comments and share with the community below. Just kind of scroll through the page. That way you kind of get an idea of what Royal Caribbean offers and about how much it's gonna cost whenever you start cruising. Okay, the second port that we're going to is Royal Caribbean's private island Coco Cay or Coco Key. There you go, perfect day. Coco Cay. It's a pretty good full day, I'd say. So I went ahead and, and stuck with the all day pass over at the beach club and lunch is also offered. And as you can see, it's under $200 and also adding that to the budget and hopefully keeping everything under that 2000 mark. I wanna go ahead and scroll through the page so that you can go ahead and see all the other things that Royal Caribbean offers. They offer like a thrill park pass so you can hang out on the water slides. You can go in and out of this water park as many times as you want. There's also cabanas. So you have all day to use these cabanas if you want to splurge. This is definitely not something that I want to add to my budget. Okay, so far right now I can book my Wi-Fi package, my drink package, as well as spa, and then also excursions for NASA and Coco Key. You know, I really want to take advantage of the opportunity I have to go on this cruise. I want to keep myself safe and as well as keep everybody else safe, you know, and be respectful of everybody else's health and really just love the life that I'm in. So while you're planning your cruise and you're getting out there. I challenge you to also do the same and just get right up to the edge of that comfort zone. Love the life that you're in. And of course, in anything you do, don't forget to get out there and just crush it. Oh yeah, it's the year of the cicadas. So <laughs> that's pretty neat. Um, so helps me stay under budget by taking my own snorkel, snorkel, snorkel gear with me. Snorkel. <laughs> Back out to the 
the sunset. <laughs>